welcome back to another video so today we're gonna do like a sit and chill you're gonna sit and chill with me while I take out my braids these braids have been in far too long it's been going on a month they have been in so I'm gonna give you a close-up of oh, what you do to me between me and you I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place cause the love you give you can't be replaced at the hair store and then I have a clip to clip my hair up as I'm taking it out and then I'm using this as well this came out of a rat tail comb the little silver parts the thin rat tail comb so I'm just gonna use that to start off the braid once I cut it so I'll show you so I normally cut it maybe my hair long but it ain't that long so I cut it maybe halfway and sometimes I use my hands to take it out or I'll use this so you just go like that this is the lazy way because you really could use your hands for this you probably have seen this carnival but it is down by amateur works so I guess it's like a city carnival I'm not sure but I passed by there yesterday and I saw it and I was like oh I want to go to this carnival or whatever so I was gonna take my little cousin honey bun to the carnival tonight but they had this sign up that said after seven no kids allowed so <sighs> not going there because I was only going to go there to eat and to let her have fun. So I'll find something else to do or whatever. So, Charms, you know what I really wanted? I really would want a straw set. That's what it's called. I would like a straw set, but I feel like my face is too fat for a straw set. I had one a long time ago. It's been years, maybe like 10 years, 15 years. So, I want another one because I just think the curls, they are so cute and small and just right. So I would like a scroll set. If I can't get a scroll set, I would want a twist eye with my real hair though. So I would love a twist eye. I've been asking, I've been asking my sister-in-law for a twist out. For the last three years now, but she tells me that my hair is too soft for a twist out. So, I don't know. I may have to let it go and say forget about the twist out. I would like to wear my hair like this. What y'all think? Can you see my hair like this? All my natural hair like this. I love this. I guess you would call it a crinkled look. I don't know, but. Two braids, I three more to go because I had a total of five in my head I really want to wear my real hair like this I remember back in the day when I was younger and I liked this style so much and I would have like somebody braid my hair who knew how to braid so I get like five braids or four braids and I have them going straight back or the way that I want to wear my hair and I never went to school like this this was only on the weekend so I would um I would try to get my hair close to this as possible because you know when you braid your hair, um, it'd be all crinkled and stuff. I love that look. My bad, y'all. It's a mirror right here. And that's why I'm looking at myself in the mirror. If I can see myself like that. Okay, charm. So I had to change my seating because it was just getting it was so dark. It was showing, it, the lighting wasn't right. The lighting wasn't right on my end. So I had to get right and change. Hopefully this is a lot better. Oh, let me call Nish. <coughs> uh -uh. 
So I was all in the mirror admiring myself. I don't know. I just looked in the mirror and I was like, oh, I look kind of good now. I'm kind of cute. And if you don't think you look good, who going to think it for you? Just correct me if I'm wrong on that. No, I was just going to wash it and probably flat iron. I wanted to wear it like in a natural state when it be like um, wild looking. Well, not wild looking per se, but like natural hair. Yeah. But I guess it be... They have some type of conditioner or moisturizer in it because it be um like curls be popping. Like that. So Charms, I was on the phone with a good friend of mine. So throughout the video, you will hear me on the phone with her talking about random things or whatever. So that's what was going on when I chimed back in. Ideas. Look at Fairy Night. I'm giving you ideas and yet you're shutting down. I'm not shutting you down. I'm just simply saying. I'm just simply saying. So what do you, like, what do you want to do? I don't, it don't really matter to me. I just want to do something. Yeah, I was trying to find something. Something, very much something. Today I made this day as my, my final day to take out my health because I was trying to look at your work for each Yes, girl. I be tired. I do be tired of looking bummish though. I be thinking I'm bummish though, even when I'm not. Um, even when I'm not looking bummish, I think I'm looking bummish. But you know how we are our we are our biggest critics. So people don't think that we are um, ugly or you know looking bummish. We think we look bummish. So that's a problem. Us as women should work on me, especially because, baby, I be so hard on myself. Ooh, girl, I done took all my hair out, Nish. Huh? I done took all my hair out. You don't look at that. Mm-hmm. So you go on the phone with me recording. Mm-hmm. So they hear me on the phone. I mean, I do a voiceover, so. Hey y'all. <laughs> you so childish. <laughs> You are so childish. Uh, Did you just say hey, y'all? Don't forget to hit that button at the top. Bing. Okay, and then like, subscribe, girl, love. All right. Okay. Bye. So, Charms, this is the back view of my hair. I had a little bit of residue and buildup from the weave, but not too much. So... The only thing I would say about being natural is that it hurts. It hurts and you have to put some type of moisturizer on your hair to comb through. With a relaxer, you don't have to do that. You always have slick edges. You always can comb through with no problem. I came from a relaxer and then I did a big chop and then I went natural all the way. So I've been natural since 2017 and it's okay. It's not bad. So charms, I try to comb through my hair before I wash it. Um, I've always seen or heard people say comb through your hair before you wash your hair. I don't see where it makes a difference because my hair was nappy before I washed it. It was nappy after it got washed. So I'm not sure why, but ever since I heard it, I just always do it just to be on the safe side. And in the back of my hair, as you can see, I have like a fairy knot back there. I get them a lot in the back of my hair. I don't know why. And I believe it's just dead hair. A fairy knot is the hairballs that are on the strand of the hair. So while I'm taking the fairy knot out, I try to be as gentle as possible because I don't like to be too rough and I take out more hair than I should. So that's how the fairy knot looks after it has came out. And I really need my ends trimmed, but the last time I went to a hair salon and let them trim it, they chopped off so much of my hair. Girl, when you right, you right. And that's just that. And that's that on that. Oh, my hair so nappy. Charms, I always watch Deep Within Hair YouTube channel. I think her name is Key. And I just love the way she takes pride in her work. Like, you can see that doing hair is her passion. If she ever came to Tampa, I would so want her to do my hair because, I don't know, the way she does hair, and she also gives you knowledge on hair, 
You don't see a lot of stylists doing that. Not in this day and age anyway. And it's really hard to find a stylist that you trust with your hair that's going to take the time to do it correctly and not rush through it or, you know, burn your hair out with heat and stuff. So until I can find a stylist that I trust with my hair, I'm going to continue to do my hair myself. So now I'm going to place a clip on my hair and go wash it. I'm using the Suave Repairing Shampoo and Conditioner. And I've been using that shampoo and conditioner for about two years now. And I always shampoo twice and I condition it once. So once I have scrubbed my scalp thoroughly, I would rinse it out and then I would add the conditioner. And when I add the conditioner to my hair, I normally let it sit on there for about five to seven minutes. And I make sure the conditioner has touched every strand of hair. Now I'm going to comb through, making sure I get all the kinks and knots out of my hair. So I thoroughly comb through my hair to make sure that every strand has been touched by the comb. Okay, Charm, so as you can see, I towel dried my hair, and it's pretty, it's pretty nappy. Like, seriously, if I try to comb through it right now, it's gonna hurt so bad. So I'm gonna blow dry it, because it's still a little damp, and I'm using this heat protectant. I got this from Walmart, and once I part it down the middle, I'm just gonna start blow drying section by section. And this is a Con Air Ion Shine blow dryer. I picked this blow dryer up from Dollar General, Family Dollar. It was like $15. And I've had this blow dryer for about eight years, seven years. So charms. I tried to blow dry my hair, but without that attachment, it wasn't working. And I'm using the Chi flat iron. And I was trying to do the chase method with the flat iron chasing the comb. Epic fail. It was not working out. I was so scared I was going to burn my ear because I had already burned my finger. Now I was trying to do it again. And as you can see, I'm using the wrong comb. I'm using a wide tooth comb instead of a rat tail comb. This is why I don't flat iron my hair because of stuff just like this. It just never turns out right. But you'll see that in. It still didn't turn out how I wanted it to, but it's okay. I just need to keep practicing. Practice makes perfect. So, you know, I guess it's all in your wrist how you flat iron. I don't know. I'm just doing something so I wouldn't have to have a, a rabbit tail and a ponytail, which is a puff and a ponytail. In charms, my hair is not even flat as it could be with the flat iron. I told you I don't deal with heat. I'm so scared of heat damage or heat, period. You seen the way it was smoking when I was putting the flat iron. See how it's smoking? Mm -mm. But it's not as flat as it could have been. But it's okay. This is only going to last a couple days, maybe a week. So I'm not even tripping. I will be back in braids or some other kind of hairstyle in another week and a half. So it's all good. So this will conclude today's video charms. I hope you have enjoyed it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.